Girl, you got what I need. Us always. Hey, look, we was doing good, now we doing better. This love I got for you too much, I can't measure. New cars, new crib, we look good together. It's us always, but I'm thinking that's forever. Girl, you got what I need. Racing for your love, I'm going high speed. I can put you on, can play for my team. Once you get a taste, you tell me don't leave. After all this time and money that I spent with you, I was still going place a highest bid with you. Girl, you're perfect, I'ma have my first kid with you. If it's up, then it's stuck, I'ma live with you. Yeah. Officially done. So Maria pranked me with her water breaking, and her water actually really broke for the first time. <laughs> I'm getting a contraction. So they're gonna keep us. We are officially with three centimeters right now. Three centimeters. What's crazy is like that I did prank you, and then <laughs> you jinxed it. And she, you already knew it too. Huh? I yeah, I did. I woke up at twelve thirty in the morning. We had just fell asleep. I know we had like a 30 minute nap. And I felt like something gushed out of me. And I woke up, I was like, babe, I think my water just broke. Literally how the video was. Pretty much. We replayed that whole scene over again. I was like, I need a towel. Yeah, pretty much. And then it's just, it's been like nonstop. It's been like, like Coming you keep out. getting gushes. Now it's just a waiting game. They're gonna... Well, I was kind of scared to come in and it like be a false alarm. No, but once your I had, water breaks. I had put on my socks and then I gushed out and I was like, oh no, this for sure is my water. So right now what they're going to do is they're going to have the, the doctor, I think, come in here. Not my OB, but the doctor here are going to see me and then we're going to get admitted into a room. So it's official. Baby is officially on his way. His, his or her way. I'm supposed to be calling the baby a he. <clears throat> well, we'll finally find out. I know. I cannot wait. Are you excited? Are you guys ready? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think we're having. That's honestly crazy. But anyways, guys, welcome back to us always. <laughs> If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below to my new post notifications and that way you're notified every time we post a new video. We'll keep you guys updated when we get admitted into the next room. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we actually just got put into the room. I'm so tired. I think I only fell asleep for like, what, 30, 45 minutes? Yeah. Maybe like 45 minutes. But since my contractions, they are coming in more intense, but not as frequent yet. I don't know if that's a sign. I'm ready to like take a little power nap or something. I know, but I was like, I wonder if that's a sign. I was hoping we were going to be in the same room because Damien and Serenity were, were born in the same room. Yeah, I'm so it's, ready though. It's time. Guys, I can't believe that we waited this freaking long and I just cannot wait. To meet our baby, to know what we're having. Right around the corner. Luckily, right now I'm not too much in pain, so hopefully I'll be able to get a nap in because it's currently like about to be three, huh? Yeah, yeah two thirty. So I was gonna run to the car right now to go get the baby's diaper bag, and then get our like just basically get everything down. I will be keeping you guys updated once the pain becomes unbearable. That's when Bo's gonna have to take over. Are you ready, babe? Are you ready? Yeah, you give a little tour of the room. <laughs> she give a little tour of the room. There's not much to show. There's a lot. The baby goes in there. We have our restroom now. A little shower. Got me some extra large pads. I feel like I need another pillow for my back. That one hurts? You keep it? Because my water bag broke too soon. I don't know if too soon. Your baby just wants to come. Baby's gonna come in a little while. No. 
I'm ready to go. Alright guys, so it's currently 3.30 in the morning and they're gonna check Maria's cervix at 4. So Maria's gonna try to get a little like 30 minute nap, huh? Honestly, like my contractions are coming in so intense because my water freaking broke. And I, like, hopefully I it's dilating like, you. Imagine you're already like a 5-6. There's no way. There's no way, babe. I always get like my my meds, my fuck, I can't even talk. My pain meds through my EV, like when I'm at a five centimeter. You, you gotta be at least a four, huh? Maybe like three and a half. If you're still at three, fuck, it's gonna be a long process. Maybe a few hours. Yep. So we'll check back with you guys after you get checked. Yeah. I just checked Maria. She's just four centimeters of a 90% efface. But they're gonna get her a warm blanket. It's cold as shit in here. Like hella cold. I think that is making me cold. Nah, it's cold, baby. i shit too. My contractions are coming in stronger. I know, but you only have four, but what was it? Once you hit five, huh? Like it went quick, huh? I'm like debating if I should get take Tums because my heartburn was so bad it's like literally right here in my throat like anytime I lay down and it's like making me feel so nauseous because it's like burning my freaking throat so I did request my first um, IV medicine right now so she's gonna give it to me and hopefully I can get a good nap in because I'm so freaking tired I'm like literally running on like 45 minutes of sleep so even if I can get like a good 45 minutes like straight sleep, like I'll be freaking golden. My contractions are coming in like really intense. <sighs> Is that the blue thing? I don't Is that know. your contractions? What do you mean? Is this your contraction? Oh, I don't know. I look at the paper. That shit's pretty good. I feel like shit. I'm almost there, man. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and the contractions are hella coming in. This is this is by far like your most painful pregnancy. Yeah, because I feel it in my foot and my lower back. I don't know if it's like my water breaking too early, but I feel like shit. Yeah, I think this is probably like the most, I mean, obviously I've seen her in like pain, but this pregnancy is it's different. That she could make it like the whole way without the epidural. Are you contemplating on like getting it without? Or? I don't know. I'm just scared to get it because I've never gotten it. So I don't know like what to expect. But fuck me, like I'm having pain. It hurts. Like I said, baby, if, if whatever you want to do, if you feel like you need it, then let's get it. You're like six to seven now, so okay. it's a little bit better. <sighs> okay, guys. And I got my second dose of fentanyl right now and i'm already at a six to seven centimeters dilated guys by far this is my most painful contractions ever like i said i've never had my water break so early oh, so that's what's doing because normally your water he breaks your water like at like five huh Four, like five. five and a half centimeters i'm gonna try to just get some rest again before we get to pushing and hopefully can make it. We're almost there. <laughs> almost there, guys. Your nurse will be there shortly. Did she bring you anything? No, what? Did she bring you anything? I feel baby's coming. No, she feels like baby's coming. Okay. It's like burning. 
Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. go. Keep, keep going, keep going, going keep going. going. This way, guys. Okay. Push, 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 push. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. And what is it? A beautiful baby. What is it? Oh my goodness. A boy. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> I feel it. Uh, boys rule in your house, that's for sure, huh? Oh. You're the only one, right? No, we have one girl. Yeah, we have one. Three boys. <laughs> Overrun my boys, mama. <laughs> I already have a girl, so it's totally okay. okay, huh? Well, I'll get it. Second. There he is. I'm sorry. Here you are. Here's your command. Hey, I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, oh, so you didn't start the program, huh? Oh. No. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm going to make a video of this thing. Oh, I'm going to make a video of this thing. Oh, I'm going to make a video of this thing. Oh, I'm going to make a video of this thing. Oh, I'm going to make a video of this thing. Oh, I'm going the placenta's little, huh? Oh, oh, I know. I told you. I knew it was a boy. I knew it. The wait is over. The pain is over. So you didn't need no epidural? I know. Got it this. went pretty fast. I think God, I told you that. You yeah. know that go from this to this so yeah. fast. Well, I already knew once you hit like once he said seven, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna come quick. It's crazy because yeah. you literally felt like a burn, huh? Yeah, and that's the head going in. I already know the feeling, babe. Yeah, did she check? I think she felt the baby's head. She's like, oh yeah, it's time. I feel like he looks so Filipino, but then I see you. I see you in him, guys. So I, it, no, I, gotta, I gotta get you a push gift. You do. <laughs> I feel like I look dead though. I'm running on 45 minutes of sleep, so hopefully they can uh, get us into like a a room. What is it called? She said post. A postpartum room, yeah, because right now we're in like a labor and delivery. But he is so cute. We need to get a nap in, so hopefully we get some tired. sleep in him. I need to get a little nap. I feel dead. She's gonna bring me a little um, a little baby crib. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Good morning, guys. So, we are finally awake. We have been actually napping like in and out of it all morning because baby started spitting up and baby spit up like two times. Yeah, baby is awake right now, just chilling. But when baby spit up like the second time, I was like, I'm not going to sleep no more. <laughs> I was getting hella scared. But Bo's trying to figure out the TV right now. But we're just gonna relax. Yeah, I brought my Xbox. I wasn't playing, but I know it's sad because Bo said he brought the Xbox. I was like, yeah, we could watch our freaking show. Yeah, right. I don't know why the TV's not playing there. Like on the there's movies here. Yeah, but they're like kid movies. That's not a kid movie. Mulan's good. Mulan's a kid movie. <laughs> I'll take it off. Already, and that's a baby. <laughs> this pain was by far by far the worst pain I've ever experienced. Like I said, I've never I had so my water broke this morning before getting like my true labor contractions. And when my contractions started kicking in after my water broke, oh my gosh, like the pain was so bad. Like it was like the worst labor pains I've ever felt. And I was freaking contracting so freaking bad like in my stomach and also on my lower back so I was already like low-key contemplating getting the epidural and me to get the epidural like that means the pain was like hella bad because I was such a high pain tolerance yeah. I could see it in your face and your voice I was like yeah this is by far the most painful yeah it was like the worst man but I'm so grateful that once I hit six centimeters, I went to seven really quick. I did get my second dose of the 
fentanyl. Because I did two doses of fentanyl. Literally 20 minutes later, it was like, yeah. it was like game time. 20 minutes later, I was already ready to push. I went from a 7 to a 10 in literally 20 minutes. So I'm glad that everything went smooth. I did not rip. I didn't have to get no stitches. So honestly, I'm really happy about that because that means I'll be able to like walk around freely, you know. So I've been doing a lot of walking. I get really anxious when I'm just like sitting in bed all day. So we're here in our postpartum room debating if we should order some Uber Eats. Yeah. Because I ate, but it was kind of just like the hospital lunch. It wasn't all that great, but I still had to like eat it or eat something. So we're going to figure out what we're going to eat right now enjoy baby and you guys will get to meet baby really really soon we just can't introduce you guys to baby without the kids meeting baby yet the kids have to meet baby first but don't worry guys you guys will get to meet baby very 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 soon so we ordered some ono hawaiian barbecue so it's kind of like a hawaiian meal it does come with eggs rice macaroni salad and then some spam in the bottom is it bomb or what is it bussin or is it bussin? It's called island chicken, you can try it. It's called what? Island chicken? No, I don't want that. It looks like a lot of spices. That's too much for my stomach. <laughs> Mom. I don't really want to be eating too much spices because a lot just happened with my uterus and I don't want to be cramping up like that. So I thought I'd eat just like something like freaking eggs and spam and rice with no sauce hey guys hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video hopefully you guys are excited our baby boy is officially here and now you guys get to know what he is <laughs> i already knew it i, I knew am the whole so time. dead i literally thought that i was pregnant with the girl so i was shook but honestly i couldn't be any more happier like he's such an amazing baby yeah, he's hella chill. Super chill. He's like literally Damien's doppelganger. Like he looks identical to freaking Damien when I know Damien when, he, was when he came out, I was like, he looks like Damien. He does. Oh my God. He still does. I feel like he's Damien's twin. What's crazy is the baby had a bruised face. Exactly how Serenity had a bruised face. Serenity was way worse Way worse, though. yeah. But she did have a fatter face. Like he's hella little and petite. Yeah. The way the nurse explained to us, the reason why they get a bruised face is because when a baby comes out of the birth canal like head first they get a bruised face because but they came, come out but, like this but then their face no, shit what happened was he came he came out face up instead of face down oh, he came through the like the pelvic bones and that's what smashed his face so that's why his face is yeah. all bruised because he even has like um what is it called like blood, blood like pop blood vessels in his, his eyes, eyes. Yeah, but, but not his, too crazy. His face is already clearing up though. It's not as bruised anymore, but it is like a few days later. We're getting ready to shower up guys and call it a night. But of course we did have to come on here and close off this video. We do want to say thank you to everyone that has been respecting and giving us our space to kind of just enjoy baby and just like enjoy our family time and just adjust. I'm kind of like a little bummed out because I was sticking through breastfeeding and Today I pumped like two times and I was so sad that I'm like barely getting any milk. Hey, better than nothing. I was just like really upset because like I've been sticking through it and like I was telling Bo that baby is like not content. Like when he's awake now, like you could tell like he's still hungry and like wants to eat. That's why he's like on my boot for hella long because he's like barely getting anything. So if you have any tips guys, make sure to drop them down below for me. Give me your guys' opinions on what you guys did to increase milk flow but also too guys we do want to do a little giveaway on this video just to show our appreciation so let's play a little game so we are going to give away 500 dollars to whoever could guess the exact time that baby was born if nobody guesses it then we'll have to go with whoever is the closest i would say yeah and I know there's gonna be a shitload of comments, so if there's more than one person that gets it right, it's gonna have to be like the first one. The first comment. one that you see. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Comment the time that you think baby was born. And whoever I see get it right first is gonna win 500 bucks. Yeah, also leave your cash out. Thank you guys again for all your love and support. We cannot wait for you guys to meet the baby. You guys will officially meet the baby in the next video, as well as seeing like the kids' reaction, our parents' reaction, and all that. So stay tuned for the next video. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video.
now we doing better This love I got for you too much, I can't measure New cars, new crib, we look good together It's us always, but I'm thinking us forever Girl, you got what I need Racing for your love, I'm going high speed I can put you on, can play for my team Once you get a taste, you tell me don't